This is the first step to attacking Indy and trying to be the winner of the 100th Indianapolis 500. He will not lead the most laps, but he's going to lead the ones that count the most. Another win at St. Pete for Roger Penske, and back-to-back -back wins for Juan Pablo Montoya. Buckle yellow, turn one. Way to go, buddy. Question is, what can he do when he gets there? We saw what happened with Hunter Ray, who was trying to really push it there. He got up wide and into the fence, was able to continue as Graham almost gets into the wall at the exit of four, and I think that piece of debris was just clipped by somebody, Paul. I just saw it kick up in the air there. It might have been Ray Hall. Ray Hall high again. Newgarden getting a run. Here comes he Newgarden. blocks the inside, so he was high again. Looks like Ray Hall's car is pushing because he almost hit the wall in four, and, and then again in two. And here we go. Saturday and the caution night, has come out. Saturday night shootout, Phoenix style. You just lit up like a Christmas tree. An absolutely friend. flawless job again for Scott Dixon. 39th career win for Scott Dixon, his first at Phoenix. Into turn nine and ten. The final time through the hairpin. Will this come into play? Look at Dixon right on the back bumper of the 22. Right on the back wing. Can he make it happen? Simon Pagano trying to hold on. Pagano's going to win in Long Beach. What a run for the 22 of Simon Pagano. It looked as though he wasn't going to be able to hold off Graham Ray Hall. But then after the damage, Simon Pagano checked out on the field. Pagano coming out of 15. He'll see the checkered flag for his sixth career win. He's going to celebrate a birthday in the middle of this week. He'll have a trophy from Indianapolis for the second time to celebrate it with. As he goes after a spot on the board, Warner Trophy leader Simon Pagano wins for the second time the Grand Prix of Indianapolis. There's Munoz in the blue and black car. He and Newgarden are going to race for second at the moment unless Rossi runs out of fuel. He's off of turn two. He's half a lap to go. Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. Message is you're now going too slow. He got this, bring it home. He's down to two. Hey, push, push. He's done it. Checkered flag is in the air. A first timer is going to win the 100th Indianapolis 500 mile race. California's Alexander Rossi to the checkered flag. And he's done it. Checkered flag. You just won the Indy 500, baby. They worked their That's magic good, on pit lane, and he did the rest. Checkered flag, and Sebastian Bourdais wins at Detroit for a second straight year. So, checkered flag, his 26th career win. And his first win since the first race of May 2015, Will Power wins it in Detroit. Two corners to go for Will Power. Now he's out. If Tony Kanaan can close, he might have a chance up the hill. Two more corners left. Tony Kanaan, what a race, what a race weekend he's put together, but not quite enough at the end. The Cola Grand Prix is won by Will Power for Team Penske. Detroit and now Road America. Joseph Newgarden out of turn four onto the front straight away. Joseph Newgarden wins in Iowa. Good job, Joseph. Power, Castro Neves and Hinchcliffe, the local hero, is going to stand on the podium at home. How about that? Turn eight for the final time. Will Power. He felt good in qualifying. It didn't go all that well, but he loves this place. He's won twice before. And once he clears the revised turn 11, you can make it three. Will Power, he really is back in this championship fight. Wins on the streets of Toronto. One corner to go for Simon Pagano, looking for his eighth career Verizon IndyCar Series victory. Simon Pagano, Chevrolet take the victory at Mid-Ohio. Will Power is going to close this championship down through turn three for the final time onto the front straightaway. Chevrolet, Will Power, claim the victory at Pocono. And here comes Pagano again back into the mix. This is going to get really, really close. It's, these guys are White almost flag. wrecking last lap. One and a half miles to go. Hinchcliffe is still in front. Ray Hall behind him. Edging just in front of Kanan. Here's Pagano. Those four on the lead lap racing for the win. Ray Hall down to the bottom. Ray Hall 
Rayall to the front around. Grand Rayall is taking the lead on the final lap. Can Hinchcliffe battle back? Can on still in the mix? Rayall and Hinchcliffe to the line. Grand Rayall has won at Texas Motor Speedway on the last lap pass. But nobody has anything today for Scott Dixon, the master of fuel savings. He may not win the championship this year, but he wins for the fourth time in seven tries and one can win. Scott Dixon is now a 40-time winner in IndyCar. Hitched, James Hinchcliffe out of fuel, and that will move Daly onto the podium. But Daly, I think, has run out of fuel. Castro Neves with the splash and go is now third on the podium. Here comes Castro Neves for third. Can Connor Daly hold on for fourth? Let's see. Bourdais charging to the line right behind him. Daly cruises across the line out of fuel. There's been significant milestones this season. His first win for Penske at Long Beach. His qualifying performance at Iowa. The pole position yesterday over Will Power. All of that has built confidence. And this is it. Not only did he stamp his authority on it to get that pole position, but now at the final race of the year, he gets his first win in Sonoma.